Okay, old goats, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, show you how to get, uh, what, what is it, uh, Google Play Store onto your Amazon, I don't know, this is a 8, so I guess it's a, whatever, it's a, it's a tablet from Amazon, this is the 8 inch, whatever it is, so uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's a buyer or whatever it is, I, I don't pay attention, uh, I wanted a tablet, because I wanted specific things to be able to do with it, and uh, then I got a little bit upset because it couldn't do exactly what I wanted to. Of course, that's my mistake because I chose to uh, go the cheaper route and get one of the Fire tablets. When I, I could have went a little bit more expensive and got, um, you know, a Droid, but I did go a little cheaper. So, being that I can't do exactly what I wanted to do, now it's time to find a workaround. Uh, which I believe I already got this figured out. <coughs> so, you're going to go to your, your main screen, which I really don't like their main screen, but we'll get into that later. It's probably a different video for how to change this. Uh, but we did get the stand to stand it on, and I'm, I'm glad for that. But we'll put a link for this down below in the description, and then we'll walk you through it so you know how to do this. So you're going to want to go to your settings. Oops. And then you're going to want to scroll down to uh, security and privacy. And then on that, you just scroll down to apps from unknown sources. Turn that on because we're going to install some apps from unknown sources. Uh, which, being that this was built on Droid. Ah, well, it's built on the same operating system as the Droids. Uh, I'm running blanks here for proper names and stuff, but it's going to be the same thing where unknown services or anything outside of, uh, of course, Android, it's be Google Play and, and Amazon, it's uh, whatever Amazon stuff is. So <laughs> turn that on so you can download stuff from other places. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go into the App Store. And we're going to go ahead and hit search. And then you're going to type in, I don't know, uh, what was the name of the one we installed? We'll just type in uh, File Commander. And you can install that, but we installed uh, the ES File Explorer because we liked it a little bit better. Uh, the reviews and you know how many people went to it we did seem to think that that would be a better option and you might not even need it we're thinking we might need a like a windows explorer or a file explorer so just go ahead and download that and install it you don't need to go to it yet though it's just nice to have it there okay with that downloaded uh, we're going to want to go back to our thing and then we're going to want to open up the browser uh, yep and from the browser, we're going to want to type, I think it's APK Mirror. Uh, and I'm not sure. I think a I used to know APK is kind of like application kit or something like that. I could be wrong. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, I could be wrong. But I'm just going to search it quick. And there we go, APK Mirror by Android Police. So it is APK Mirror. So this is the one we're looking for over here, which is a sister site to Android Police. So being that it's the same as this one, we're going to say it's the correct one. I haven't been to this site for a while. Okay, so on here, we're going to search for some, uh, some things. And the first thing we're going to need to do is the uh, Google Account Manager. So we'll find out how to do this here. Google, oops, I just typed too much. And uh, there we go. 
Okay, and on this, you're gonna since this was built on an older I can't even remember the name of it still. I don't know. An older droid OS. We're gonna really want to use this older uh, account manager <laughs> for this. It's uh you know the five point one dash one seven blah 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 blah. Um just basically it's it's the oldest one listed on their site. And then we're going to it's because it's yeah, Android five point oh. Uh, download it. And yeah, we understand it can cause harm to us, but we're going to trust it because of the site. And I'm just going to install. And app installed successfully, so we're good there. I'm turn this off to the side a little bit here so you guys can see it a little bit better. The next thing we need is Google Service Framework. So we're going to get back up to the top here somehow. Okay, there we go. And Google Service Framework. Okay, we're wanting the 5.1.174 again. 5.1.174. Oh, wait a minute. Did I? You want to download 5.1.1? Okay. Well, sweet. I guess. Oh, no, no. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Just download. Let's just go ahead and open that because I think we're supposed to install this too. There we go. Okay. And the next up is the uh, Google Play Services. This is the app that will allow us to install other stuff. But you have to have the first two in there first. So we're going to Google. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, I can't type. No. Seriously. Okay, we'll just try it again because it's not going to. for an older one that um, is it going to tell me which one to download? No, it's not. Uh, so we need an older one. So I don't see one for 5.1. I see one for 5.02. So, it should be fairly close. It'll update to the most recent, I think. Okay, I see available APKs. And, what's the difference between them? Release, improve, release. Okay, this is the 5.0. Which is the version of... <laughs> oh, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? I might have did something wrong. 
Download APK. There we go. Yeah, you need to just close that tab. I don't know what that clap tab is. Okay. We're gonna hit OK. Then we're gonna hit open. And we're gonna hit install. And it says it was installed. Now we got one more app or APK to install. And the final app is the actual Google Play Store app, which is what we need for uh, to get our YouTube and stuff. Oops, play. And this one should be compatible no matter what. Like it shouldn't matter which one of these we download. Because it should all work. Because they made this file backwards compatible. So, at least they should have. <laughs> we'll play store. I don't know. So it's where it was in the TV. Okay. Let's just click on this. Download the APK. And there we go. It's downloading. And then we open. Do you want this application? Yeah, we want it to install. Okay, app installed. All right, now we should be able to open it. And see how it says it's press to sign in? We're gonna sign in quick. At least we're gonna try to. Okay, it's not letting us sign in. Which means we probably need to reboot. So, I have not rebooted this tablet yet. So I don't know what that entails to reboot the tablet. But we'll try. We'll just wait for it to come back up. Not sure how long this takes. Make sure when you're downloading, make sure that the, the Google account manager is... is for 5.1, yeah, the Google Services framework is for 5.1. Uh, I think Google Play Services were like 18 point whatever. It just used the newest one. It's fine. Google Play Store, I think it was like 15 point something. We're again the newest one. Uh, and then you just install them. And if you screw up, just go back in, research it out, re-download the file, install it. And then install every file after it, you know, in sequence. Because there's only four files. So, I mean, you can't screw it up too bad. If it, I mean, worst case scenario, it doesn't work. So, I mean, if you, if you mess up, you know, and it doesn't work and it doesn't load, then, you know, obviously you did something wrong. So, that's, and that's what I did. I did something wrong, so I had to re go back through and redo it. So, anyway, you can see I'm, I'm now here at the Play Store. So, I can, you know, type in YouTube. And I can now install YouTube onto my Fire tablet. Uh, I can also put Chrome browser on here. Uh, if I wanted to, which I do because I, I seem to like Chrome better anyway. And then one of the main reasons I wanted this on here is to get the uh, YouTube Studio. 
I can't type. There we go. Which just allows me to check some of the uh, things that I do on YouTube and to uh, make some changes to it. Now, I also want to put TubeBuddy on here, which I don't know that I needed uh, Play Store to put TubeBuddy on here. Because TubeBuddy works with uh, Alexa. So I'm going to assume that they have a version that works. But as you can see, she's installing straight off the uh, you know, Google Play. <laughs> right there. Uh, it's Google Play. See, it's just straight from the Play Store. Uh, we can go back. We'll prove it to you. We'll, we'll, uh, we don't need that stuff. We need this right here. Okay, we're gonna go back. You know, in our two little apps here, and we're gonna do the you know Google Play. And right there, it opens. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go, you know, YouTube, YouTube Studio, TubeBuddy, uh, Chrome. Everything is going to work. So, I mean, there's no excuse just because you have a Fire tablet that you can't actually have YouTube because you can see it works and it works fairly easily and doesn't take but a couple minutes. I mean, right here, boom, there's a, there's a video I want to watch. It's from the uh, Buckeye Boys. So... We'll go ahead and get that started. Uh, right there it is. Nice and easy. No problems. Anyway, uh, we'll put the link to the, yeah. You know, we'll put a link down to the tablet down below in the description. Uh, you know, if you've been holding off on a Fire tablet because you can't get YouTube on it or something, uh, I've, I've proven to you that you can. I mean, this is... A fire tablet. I don't know. Is it say that on there somewhere? I mean, you could see by the uh, the screen that it was definitely the fire operating system. But right there, there you go. Amazon and YouTube playing. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no reason why you can't watch YouTube on a fire tablet. Just takes a little bit of work and. Look at, that. Look at them Buckeye boys. They're sitting there playing a the guitar. Anyway, we'll catch you all later. Bye.